hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTNHD, and I'm pretty excited because uh, pretty soon I'm going to be deploying Windows 8.1 to my users at my office. And I said to myself, why not create a web series of 12 parts of how to configure Windows 8.1 for a working environment with MDT 2013. Awesome. Now, at the bottom of the video, at the description part, I'm going to leave you guys a link that's going to take you to my site. You know, no scam, no problems. Now, the site is a breakdown of the course, what's going to happen in each part. Again, it's 12 parts. This is one of the parts. This is an introduction to you guys, letting you know what's going to happen. And I actually have the site right here, the 12 parts, which is super excited. Uh, the introduction, the course outline, that's what I'm going over with you guys. Uh, part 2 is going to be importing Windows 8.1 and then within the MDT. Uh, part 3 is going to be environment setup, basically configuring your custom settings. I and I am going to break that down to what I use best practices uh, because there's, there's so many variables to put inside your custom settings. Uh, number 4. Driver management, which is really huge, which I've done in the past. I actually gave you guys in the past four scenarios, and those videos are pretty awesome, so you guys can check that out. I will put the links at the bottom of the description. Uh, in part five, we're going to do application import as well as configuration for Windows 8.1 deployment. We're also going to do, in part six, uh, task sequence breakdown. I'm going to kind of break down all the variables within the task sequence. And then on 6, 8, 9, and 10, we're going to get our hands a little dirty. And I'm going to show you guys how to disable, uh, disable a couple things in Windows 8.1, as well as customize 8.1 for your user environment. So that's going to be extremely awesome. And it's going to deal mostly with task sequence manipulating and stuff, okay? And uh, 11 and 12 is basically, as always, I'm not really a huge fan of building a media ISO and deploying it with a DVD or a USB. So I'm going to show you guys how to configure your Pixie Boost with WDS to actually use your network to deploy your operating systems because I think that's the best way, especially if you have a huge network pipe. Why not take advantage of deploying 20, you know, 20 windows to 20 machines in one shot, right? That's the best thing to do it. And uh, the last part is deploying a live uh, Windows 8.1 uh, task sequence to a virtual machine and show you guys how it runs, how it looks, how it feels. Because again, I want to show you guys that it's, the stuff that I'm showing you from 1 through 11, it's actually going to work. And then hopefully if all these videos are successful and I'm getting good feedback from you guys, I probably do a live stream like I've always done in the past. I did a live stream in the past with 2012 and 2010 for you guys. And I just did everything step by step live and I had you guys chat with me and you guys ask questions and I answered them on the spot. So hopefully if these 12 videos go successful, I will do the live stream for you guys and you know, I'll probably still do the live stream for you guys. And uh, again, I'm going to put the link of the course breakdown at the bottom of the description. And again, leave your comments below if you're super excited about this mini course. Again, it's free so you know, take advantage of it. And uh, once the 12 parts is over, I'm going to kind of take a little break and try to think about advanced stuff like SQL, uh, database integration, uh, web interface integration. Because you guys, I don't know if you know, but you can actually create a web interface for your MDT 2013, which is pretty cool. And everything, I'm actually doing everything on a Windows Server 2012 just to keep you guys informed. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, the web series. Uh, again, leave it, all your comments below and give me a thumbs up for this video. And I'll catch you guys on the first part or the second part of the video series. Peace out.